Hey guys, here at Snob for some Sly Talk, a new series that has been delayed, cancelled, pushed back, and some other crap, but this will be my ongoing Sly series for a while, so in this episode we're talking about Sly 4, obviously as it's the only relevant thing in Sly right now. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time has its rumors, conspiracies, linked info, and all that good stuff. But what are my thoughts on the games as it's coming out in a few days? Well, I think it looks good. I mean, I would like to see Bentley walk again, and maybe have the large gang back together from Sly 3. Probably because I'm a Sly fan who played the original games as a kid. But let's get to the story. Time travel. So, ultimately, in this game, Sly has to travel back in time as the pages of the Thievius Raccoonus, the magical book his ancestors have passed down for such a long time, and was given to him, is now disappearing, so he has to go back in time and find out who's screwing around with it, and he uses a time machine built into the van. Now let's get to the boss, which has been speculated since the gameplay and trailers have been released. I personally think it's actually a member of the Cooper clan, as in many pictures revealing him, he is carrying what appears to be a cane, it, I mean, this could be true or false either way, and there is a clockwork theory from the Copycats gameplay, I do believe, which was released not too long ago at Gamescom, I forget which video this was in, but it showed a statue-like owl perched in the foreground of the game, being very hard to see and being pointed out by some YouTuber who believed that this was clockwork for the fir from the first and second games. As you remember in the third game, it was all about Sly going out to unlock his family vault. I don't really know which story to believe, one that entails clockwork coming back and he's the one messing around with time even though he's dead, or a member of the Cooper gang coming back to life. I don't know. But there is one thing for sure. I think Sanzaro has done a good job, regardless of what the game play is like. And I think it will be a memorable Sly game either way. So join me next week when we discuss a Sly Cooper TV show?